We begin with a UPS truck chase that ended in a deadly shootout. We have live team coverage from the suspects to the new information about the victims as well. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos is live. He's in Miramar with the latest on the investigation. Roy. Christy and Calvin and this police involved shooting happening at the intersection of Flamingo Road and Miramar Parkway. Several drivers were stopped at that red light at the time that those shots were fired. Now throughout the day we saw that UPS tow truck towed away by those investigators with the FBI, but they also combed through several different vehicles that were caught in the crossfire. Once they were processed at that scene, they were then brought right here to the Miramar Police Headquarters. Dozens of officers from multiple agencies surround a UPS delivery truck moments before you can see the vehicle riddled with bullets. Inside is where investigators said two armed suspects held the driver, 27-year-old Frank Ordonez, hostage. From above in Sky 10, one of the gunmen is seen opening fire on police while Ordonez tries to get away. <laughs> The police involved shooting happening Thursday just after 5 on Miramar Parkway near Flamingo Road. Witnesses recording on their cell phones as shots rang out. Next thing you know, we were in the middle of it all and we, all I can think of a straight bullet coming towards us and that's why you hear me screaming in the video, duck down, duck down, lay low. According to investigators with the FBI, this all started when 41-year-old Lamar Alexander and Ronnie Jerome Hill robbed the Regent Jewelry Store in Coral Gables. 67-year-old Liliana Sardi, an employee working at the time, injured during the robbery. Police said it's when the crooks tried to make their getaway, they hijacked and kidnapped the UPS driver, then led police on a high-speed chase from Miami-Dade County into Broward. The armed suspects engaged law enforcement, opened fire, there was exchange fire between law enforcement and the suspects uh, and unfortunately uh, the suspects are now deceased. Also killed in the gunfire, Ordonez and 70 year old Richard Cutshaw just sitting in his car at the time of the shooting. We watched as federal agents worked through the night gathering evidence. Late Friday that UPS truck was towed away along with more than a half dozen cars wrecked or hit with bullets in the crossfire. And as we come back out live, you can see those owners of the vehicles now in the process of picking up their vehicles. I just got a chance to speak to one man who told me it was terrifying when he heard those shots fired. In fact, he described seeing that UPS truck make a U-turn, pass him, and then see law enforcement surround that vehicle and open fire. Take a listen. I was at the light sitting and waiting. And, uh, you know, when I heard the barrage of bullets, I lowered my seat and stayed low as possible. A few minutes after, an officer came by, asked permission if I could get out. I run across the road and uh, get on the bank and roll over. Just terrifying uh, description of what happened that day. We do know that several innocent people were involved in all of this, two of them unfortunately losing their lives. This an ongoing investigation with the FBI. As more details come our way, we'll be sure to bring them to you. For now, here in Miramar, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.